iPhone 6 and second iPad Air photos of prototypes emerge with new details. Main drawer Android release updates get leaked ahead of Google I.O. And could it be that we're still getting a Google Nexus 6? I'm Jaime Rivera, and Mondays are cruel. They should not exist. And I'm sure a ton of you agree with me. This is Pocket Now Daily. The first batch of official news today is about Samsung, though it's uh, very interesting as, first of all, the LTA model of the Galaxy S5 just got another model uh, that has this black design and looks really cool, but the biggest problem is that if you want it in the United States, there's still no option and still no word as to when we're getting it, but Samsung keeps releasing phones in Asia. Aside from that, if you are interested in an active variant of the Galaxy S5 in Sprint, the company has just launched the Galaxy S5 Sport Edition which is pretty much a Galaxy S5 Active in a way. It's more like a Galaxy S4 Active. It's got some certifications. Looks at the super for full details and specifications. Now let's talk about Microsoft as the competition for online storage is still big and the company wants a chunk of the piece of the pie. Dropbox still owns it, but you know, you have Google Drive and Microsoft has got OneDrive and the company has just upped its ante. Now you can get 15 gigs for free on OneDrive and if you are an Office 365 subscriber, yeah, that crazy amount of money, you get a terabyte uh, included in the subscription. Really interesting, links to the super full details on that. Now even though we've heard analysts predict for the longest time that the next Apple iOS products will get Touch ID, we haven't had any real photos until now. Apparently these are dead prototypes, they don't have activation, they are not dummy units, though it's hard to confirm that obviously. The source says these are prototypes, so uh, yeah, apparently we are getting Touch ID on the iPad Mini with Retina Display, the next generation iPad Air, and obviously the iPhone 6, so let's see if we do. Even though Google I.O. is just a couple of days away, a lot of people are underwhelmed that we apparently won't get hardware and still rumors emerge of a Nexus 6. Apparently this phone will be made by LG because uh, it's got a 5.5 inch display that has the Quad HD specs and stuff. Almost everything that we see in the LG G3 that just got announced and since LG has been the partner in the past two years, it could be that Google wants to go out with a bang on the Nexus project. Stay tuned, let's see what we get. And finally, for the very hot and interesting news of the day, another thing that apparently we are getting at Google I.O. is obviously the next version of Android. And if you're wondering exactly what changes, it's hard to predict if we are getting Android 5.0 instead of Android 4.5. It's hard to know exactly what we're getting. But what we do know is that apparently this will be a 64-bit version of Android, finally. Google is making that shift, but then again, since we've seen Apple do that with the A7 chip and no real applications take advantage of it, we don't get any extra RAM, it leads me to the question of the day. How do you think that a 64-bit version of Android would benefit you as a user? Because in my case, obviously, we want better applications, uh, but we would like more desktop class applications, not necessarily just in games, but also in productivity. So let's see. If that's really going to be the case, leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.